All right, all right, enough of that. Okay, let's finish up this uh, castle area. Let's see. Oh, sorry, my chair is kind of squeaky. Okay, we've got the card going into the... Uh... Oh, it's a prison. Well, excuse me for thinking the prison would be attached to the dungeon. Again, anachronistic use of a card. Oh, this part. This is so annoying. This is your basic take out one base, it will remove one of those fireball spewing statues. The Larry's lay out like a grid. It's annoying because you're not unlocking anything, you know? The whole appeal of this game, or at least, well, the whole, it's a fun game. I shouldn't say that, but the, part of the appeal of this game is going to areas that have been devastated and bringing them back to life. Okami. I should see if I can get a PlayStation 2 emulator working and run through Okami. Anyway, but, yeah, the fun is bringing the world back to life, and when you get to an area like this, and it's got, like, 20 bases in it, but most of them are just providing access to the others... I don't know, it just makes me, makes me feel cheated. Boomerang Knights. Truly the most effective of knights. Oh, dang. Almost maxed out. Let's see. And... A soldier. Oh! I bet this is, yeah, he knows everything about Magrid Castle. No, we're pretty, pretty close up, so. We're gonna go ahead and grab him, I think. Excuse me. Okay. Lisa's theme and this, the basic town theme. I think probably the most memorable songs in this game to me. Uh, yes, nobody looks like it. What were the other ones? It was a fish, uh, the old man. I want to say it was a mole. Mole's the one who saw in the dark. Ugh, I don't know. It wasn't a cat. It would have been a doll or a mouse. Okay, well, let's get this place done. <laughs> Abandoned thought. Oddly enough, I've seen rooks used... Sorry, those aren't rooks. Those are knights. Knights used as enemies a lot in games. I guess I think of uh, Breath of Fire more than anything. Not Breath of Fire, Legend of Man, or Secret of Man of the series. Might be confusing them for um, sea fish too, sea, uh, seahorses, sea fish. Most unimaginative <laughs> fish name ever. Okay, as usual. Oh, that's right. This area, the. Uh, to make it extra extra dastardly, the openings don't appear until you've unlocked certain bases. Which still isn't this one, but yeah, if you're clever like me right there, you'll use magic to get at those guys first. But bears reminding, if you take out if you leave even one enemy left alive in the base and you switch screens, like, by unlocking some other character from the village, it means their base is filled up again. Oh, see, there we go. Oop. But, no reason to put myself in danger unless I just have to. Got plenty of gems. I realize some of the other spells are more powerful, it's just... I find this the most useful spell. Okay, we got another 
Mm, soldier. Nope. Queen. So it does kind of put us, uh, no suspicion on her. What was she just slumming around town whenever this death toll thing went down? It doesn't help that her model is just the basic maid model. Yes, that one. Okay, it should be everybody here. I think there's nothing else further up. Oh no, because the queen has the key to the next area. That's what it was. Actually, the queen has something else, but we can't quite get at it yet. Oh, yeah, let's heal up. Okay. I'm the wife of King McGrid. Do you think I'm pretty? Oh, yes, you're just gorgeous. Ooh, she slipped something in my pocket. There's the gold key, the VIP key. Car key card. The VIP key card for the castle. Did I mention it a bit anachronistic? Just a bit. Actually, come to think of it, then we thought think about the next game, Illusion of Gaia, which has castles, and friggin' um... no, no, I take it back. Technology is just kind of uh, kind of lowbrow there too. We'll see that a bit later, though. Yeah, I'm, I have a feeling there's more in here. So I've been slumming in um, about my hometown the last few days. Waiting for the AC guys to come repair the AC where I normally live. And while it's nice to be able to have air conditioning, it came at the expense of hot water and internet, which is beginning to wear on me a bit. I certainly hope no one's joined my Patreon because I haven't been able to say it, do anything on it lately. Oh, soldiers in there. Alright, oh, prison. Okay. I believe this is the last room here. Which means these three. Yeah, there's no other passageway through. As soon as we kill this area off. Yeah, we're done. Okay. Here's the jewel that's gonna get us back to town. Oh, Dr. Leo. Sweet. Mm, he wants the two soldiers to come with him. Fine, fine. Remember what confused me as a kid, they couldn't just zip back to the first town by themselves. And then I remember that I'm basically using the power of the divinity to move around. Yeah, we're not quite ready yet. Not a whole lot left here, just the last tower and the... Uh, Oh, there's a soldier. Could have been worse, I suppose. It could have been captured in mid-flight. We go, soldier. Yep, that's where we need to go. Be prepared for more puppets, possibly more skeletons. Yeah, we're done here. Nothing else. You'll know that you're in an area that has secret passageways once you've unlocked that guy and recruited him. And when you go into a floor, there'll be like a shimmer around you. It really stands out. <laughs> For example, right here, nothing. Right here, nothing. Let's kill a snake. Another snake. Ugh, it's hard to hit. It's hard to avoid those guys. Right here, see, 
You can see a weird little shimmer in a circle around me. Yeah, I want to make sure there's no uh, treasure chest hiding in that. Oh, speaking of treasure. <sighs> Strange bottles. I'm not mad because they're useless. I'm mad because if you find an extra one... Like, if you find an extra medical herb, it heals you up. If you find an extra strange bottle, it could at least, like, give you a few extra gems or something. And now there's nothing else here. We should at least check the bottom floor, though, just in case. After all, we missed one treasure chest. There could be more. Oh, there we go. And, okay, there's just a shortcut through there. these spikes kind of reminds me of the intro to Wild Arms. Another PlayStation 1 one I wouldn't mind hitting. So if I did an RPG, I guess I'd have to just do like the story segments, maybe an occasional battle. It's going to be hard to do. It's hard to, with all the random encounters to keep that interesting. Then again, I've been enjoying the heck out of a uh, Game Grumps playthrough of um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Even if I think they've been actively trolling people by not uh, powering up their characters. I've gotta be getting close. Nope, no hidden treasures. A little disappointed, actually. I thought there'd be something else. And that's just a shortcut. Nope. Disappointing. Well, at least we can take the gem back and... Nope. I guess we're not going to take the gem back. Oh! I did miss another one. Magical herb. Okay. Well, I think we've we basically squeezed everything we can out of this area. I'm gonna go ahead and get to that next one and finish this off. Up to here and going to the. Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. Level 22. I think that you go up to level 50 in this. Most people don't get that high. I, I think 25 is unusual. And let's face it, after a while, you've killed most of the enemies. If I'm in memory serves, though, if memory serves, there's a few enemies near the end that are nearly invincible unless you have the right equipment. You need, like, the final magic and the best gear, and then you can kill them. And then they're, they're worth, like, a ton of experience, so you can sit there and level up if you need to. Then again, I don't think you need to. I think you can actually take on the last boss. Excuse me. Just by mystic questing it. You know, kill every monster along the way, get to the end. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. If you're careful, that is. It's too easy to get... Careless? Is the right word? Overconfident, probably, is the right word. Okay, we're back up to that. There is something the queen has, but we st oh, excuse me, we still can't get at it. Yet another guard. Come to think of it, this is the last area that has people being freed. I mean, yeah, we'll see some of it when we're backtracking, but uh, for the most part, yeah, we're. This is the last barrier to restore. Everything in Death Toll's area is basically uh, clearing the way. Another maiden. I think that might be the, the town. I think the town's like fully restored except for the castle. Okay, take off a few mannequins. If I were to do an RPG, I think... Well, if I were to do my favorite RPG, I'd have to go with Dragon Quest V. 
I believe that's the one it's called The Heavenly Bride. It's just a really fun game. I think it's because of so many games, even games that have romantic arcs. And no, I don't count this one, even though they try to fake a little something between you and Lisa later on. But most games that have romantic arcs, they never really kind of come to a definitive end. There are plenty of games where Zelda and Link seem to like each other, but never really any indication that they end up together. Whereas in the Dragon Quest V, getting married is actually a huge part of the plot. And not like a momentary thing either, like in the Fire Emblem, where it just grants you new units. It's a major storyline. You get you choose who which one who you marry. It, uh, Hell, you keep adventuring after you get married. Your characters have kids. Your kids eventually join up, join up with you and finish the game. I guess it's just unusual for the, an RPG to go that far. Okay. I think this is the last area. Mind you, if I was really wanted to emulate it, I'd probably go with the DS version because I don't know. It had the most. They added the most to it. Plus, I've always had a soft spot for Dragon Quest. That, that was like the first RPG game I ever played. I didn't even hit Final Fantasy until years later. Ah, this is the last house. And Dragon Quest's plot was so simple. Just, they explained it all in like the first dialogue. The evil dragon lord has the dragon arms. Go get them. <laughs> yeah, the big trouble in this area is that the mannequins are pretty harmless. The chests can be a little bit tricky if you're not ready for them. Ugh, oh, more fireballs. The fireballs are the worst, because there's nothing you can do about it. You've got them coming from all directions like that. Another soldier. Okay. For some reason, wild arms stick into my mind. I haven't played that in a long time, and... Gems! Yeah, another monster. Medical herb! Oh, good timing, too. Okay. Yeah, remember Wild Arms being kind of billed as a uh, steampunk kind of a. It was unusual for an uh, RPG to have a character he will with guns. You know, I th think Final Fantasy 7 was out by then. Might be so I'm getting old. <laughs> My memories are falling apart. Okay. Kill this guy. I think we're right at the airship. That will mention, before we get on to this last boss here, one RPG that I'm pretty sure that 90% most people never even played. I remember it came out in PlayStation 1. I felt like I was like the only one who ever picked it up. Because I've never heard it referenced. Never see it in any top 10 list. And then, honestly, it's, it's sort of an average game. But uh, there's an RPG on PlayStation 1 called Shadow Madness. Graphically, it's a little under Final Fantasy 7. A lot under in some spots. A lot of the magic in the game just doesn't make any sense. It kind of does the fantasy star thing of giving it weird names without any indication of what your magic does. Okay. Oh, did they? Uh, King of Grid Holes the last time. We have to free him. Get to the world of evil and defeat Death Toll. 
I'm not sure how they know that monster is in the air. Oh, look, there's the queen slash maid. Oh, plot twist. It was the queen who did it. Well, kind of. I think they imply that the, the king was trying to impress the queen. This kind of makes it look like the queen didn't have a problem <laughs> with uh, sacrificing the world for a bit. Oh, look, Lisa. still has to work for us. What else are they going to do? They just summoned the devil. Where do you go from there? Okay, I'm not... No more Twitter jokes. Okay, is there anything but just... Okay, yeah, it is. Noble sacrifice in five, four... No. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they kind of threw to slam together some sort of like romance with Lisa, but it doesn't really make any sense. That's like the big problem with science. Okay, like is another one I need to start watching out for. But another big problem, another big cliche is the. Uh, dang it, I'm doing it again. You know what? Never mind. Let's just. He's dead. <laughs> Let's just go. I remember what I was going to say. It was like, that's a problem with silent protagonists. Is it's really hard to give them characterization. Even really good ones, like uh, Gordon Freeman, the uh, Chrono. Hell, Mario from Super Mario RPG. Well, he, he kind of lucks out. His mimicry gets him by, I feel. Okay. We're going to go back, but uh, not to heal. There's a bit of a secret, but if you go back to where the queen was standing in her little knot castle, you will find the invulnerable bracelet. It's not really invulnerability, but if you equip it, you get the benefits of both the others. Or they increase by two. I've never quite figured it out. I think... I think it does both. Doubles your attack, doubles your defense. In any case, it's a handy thing to have, and now we got it. Just in time for the last... Well, not the last boss. The last boss of... The boss of this area. Still dead? Good, let's go. And we gotta find where the ignition key goes in. Okay. Plugged in the starting key. And off we go. Okay, this fight is a little tricky. For one thing, the wind is constantly pushing you back. That makes things really difficult. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if I get killed in this because it's that tricky. You basically have to lure him down and attack him when he does that sideways thing. Magic, of course, is useless. It's always useless. <laughs> what you do is you run up when he dives down like that. If you move in the right spot, you can actually avoid, yeah, like that. And you jump up. Oh, not doing so well. See, he'll go up as high as you do, so you can't really, like, see right there, he just went up a little higher. So about the only way you can do this is to get, you move it to where he's level with you when you go walk up. And you're going to take damage, there's not really a way around it. This one, it wouldn't be so hard. But the, the wind pushing down. Okay. Mm 
Yeah, I, I think I might have. It's been a while. I think I might have died on this recording. But bear in mind, this is like the first time I've had serious trouble with a boss. That's how tough this guy is as compared. Even the last boss really isn't that bad. He's has a pretty easy pattern. Uh, see, I barely hit him at all, and he's not even in his uh, his normal health bar. <laughs> Oh, so long, so boring. There we go. Equip the health medical herb. Should really equip my, um... Yeah. Getting closer, getting closer. Not really much to say, just you gotta keep... Luring him down enough and hoping he does his little side swipe. You know, it would be interesting going through Illusion of Guy again, because I honestly can't remember any of the monster, the bosses from that game. Oh, I better be careful, I'm not to get. Really annoying to get this far and not make it. Come on, you bugger. Oh, got him. Sweet. Okay. And we released the king. Who knew what was happening? Nothing could prevent the queen from passing away. Well... Dr. Leo took her out with a grenade, so... I'll always remember the VIP card she gave me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is the only <laughs> relationship character development we're going to get. So enjoy it. Okay. I'm a real human like this confused me as a kid, but I'd imagine no, you're not. You've seen him twice. How could you? I'm sorry. It just really bugs me. Please leave while her back is turned. Oh, okay. And I'm all for romance. It just, it doesn't feel like it was earned. <laughs> Jimmy and Tara. Glenn and Teria. McCann and Terinia. My, I have a lot of female protagonists who have T as the first letter in their names. I feel they at least had to do something to kind of earn their relationship. This is just sort of thrown in at the last second. Yeah, I suppose she is. Let's see if she gives me medical herbs. That's nice. Really, you have the power to read people's minds. You know that people want stuff. It's like saying, hey, you want five bucks? Uh-huh, I knew it. I could read your mind. Something shiny around the castle. But you didn't pick it up. That could be interesting. We can check it out later. Let's see, that's the garden maid. Let's go ahead and get that song going again. Okay, here we go. See, at least this guy. This guy at least had something. <laughs> Lisa took care of him. I can I can see them having feelings, but... Uh, I, I give up. Okay. Oh, we, need, we still need to talk to the king. Oh, that jerk. Yes, yes, your wall is beautiful. Let's keep moving. Well, I brought it back. I don't know if that counts as changing. Huh. 
Yeah, with well, difficulties of life. Okay. No, they're not. We killed them all. Let's just talk to the king and get out of here. Oh, yeah, if you come here before, he talks about it. If the king dies, he'll be the next king. Great. You know he's a reformed villain because he's he's basically reciting friggin' um... Oh, he's got the Blackstone. You could bury him. He's just sitting on the dock. Not sure how he incinerated your wife and didn't blow himself to bits, but okay, whatever. Huh. Okay. Let's see, there's something over here by the castle, and... Oh, damn, Master's Emblem. What do we got? That's, uh, six. We're only missing two. And I'll bet we'll find the other ones. Well, okay, I've pre-recorded it. I know we'll find the other ones. <laughs> but, we will... Hmm, should we do that next time? Well, we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, we're in the last area. Death Toll's Aurora, by the looks of it. Okay, we will pick up here next time. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least tolerated my ramblings, and I will see you later.